Hello there, and welcome to another review of the Shield Dude in the Couch. I'm your host, Hector, and tonight we're going to talk about the new album by Soulfly called Totem. And this is the band's 12th album. They've been around since 1998. Basically, when Max Cavalera left Sepultura, he formed Soulfly. And, you know, this is their band's 12th album, so they have a lot of material out. And I don't know how Max Cavalera has so much time because he has other countless bands like Kill or Be Killed, uh, Cavalera Conspiracy. Uh, I forget how many bands he's in, but Soulfly has been his main band for the last 22 plus years. So on this band, I gotta say that the last albums of theirs, uh, I wasn't too keen on. Uh, I think Ritual was okay. It, it had some good stuff. So uh, what you have to ask on album number 12 totem is does it deliver and the answer to me is yes and no uh, why is it yes and no yes because there's some great uh, catchy songs on this album but then there's other songs that are longer and sometimes can get convoluted you know uh, and have too much trim on them and I think this band works best when it's more concise, shorter songs, straight to the point. Uh, so the album starts with three bangers that were also the three singles. It starts with Superstition, Scorching, The Vile Earth, uh, featuring John Tardy, and Filth Upon Filth. And these three songs, you know, when you listen to these three songs, you know what this album is all about. It's about groovy riffs. Uh, it's pummeling, fast, very thrash metal uh, influence. Like uh, I, I heard some influences from Sepultura on some of these songs. I think Superstition is a great album opener. It's no more than three minutes and it's got some great riffing. Max Cavalera sounds energized on this song. So I thought that out of the get-go, the three songs really suck you in into the album. Then they have a song like Rotting Pain, which dabbles a little bit more in that new metal style, especially on the riffing. And it's, a, it's an okay song. Uh, but then there's other songs like The Damage Done that's a little bit longer. Uh, it has some cool riffing on it. And Totem, which is the title track of the album, uh, has some good parts, but also has some parts where they could have trimmed it down because it's like a five and a half minute to six. I like the chorus when they shout like, totem, totem. So there's some interesting parts on it, but then there's some parts when it gets like all spacey and it, it I think they could have made that song shorter and it would have been more punchier and to the point. It's not a bad song, but I think a little bit of trimming would have helped on that one. Then they have songs that are really fun, like Ancestors and Ecstasy of Gold. And Ecstasy of Gold has one of the best riffish in the album. Very thrash metal and very fast. So it's one of the most memorable tracks, if you will. So you keep up the pace. And then after that, you know, always Soulfly always has that instrumental. In. So this instrumental to me didn't, I don't know, it didn't add a lot to me, but they always do this. They always have that instrumental. Uh, before the end song and that's not any different you know they follow that formula and they're gonna do it on this album as well so the last album is called Spirit Animal and this is almost a nine minute song and this is a perfect example of when shorter could have been best there's part on this song that are very there are good there's some good riffish but the song starts with, you know, some animal noises and chanting uh, because Max Cavalera said in an interview that the album is like he likes those roots getting back to nature about people, you know, putting down their, their phone, phone and getting in touch with the world around them, which is, you know, it's a beautiful thing. But uh, do we need nine minutes to get to that point? I don't think so. You know, uh, there's parts of this song where the beginning, it, it, you know, it plots along for too long and you're like, come on, hurry up, get to the good part. Uh, when it gets to the good part, you know, sir, there's some great riffish, Max sounds great on it. But then again, like in the middle of the song, it slows down and it has more tribal sounds and it 
it takes a lot of time to get to the end. And at the end, there's like some cleans. But I think this song should have not have been nine minutes. You know, if they trimmed a little bit of it, I think it would have been more memorable. It, you know, it's an entertaining, fun listen. Uh, it doesn't reinvent the wheel. Uh, you know, they're not doing anything mind blowing, but I enjoyed it more than I thought that I would. Uh, I just think that if they would have trimmed a little bit of the fat, the album would have been more concise, more punchier, and better. But it, nonetheless, it's a solid album. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and I think you should, if you're a fan of Max Cavalera, you should check out this Soulfly album because, you know, it's entertaining and, you know, it's solid, and Max sounds great on it, and the riffing is good. But, you know, at the end of the day, a little bit long, even though uh, it's only 40 minutes, the album, but the parts that are long feel too long, and I think they take away from the album experience. So, what did you think of Totem by Soulfly? Did you like it? You didn't like it? Comment. What were your favorite tracks? Uh, I would really want to know. And if you like the videos that I'm putting out, don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I have more content on the way. So until next time, this is Hector, the Shield doing a couch, and I'll see you right here on the couch. Thank you and good night.